Hey guys, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about how to make stringers for stairs. The stringer is the structural part that holds the treads that you walk on and the risers, which are the vertical part between each stair. So the first thing you're going to have to know, know is the vertical rise, how far from the floor you're on to the floor you want to go to. Once you know that, you need to divide it by a number at or around 7. Um, so the riser height, how far you want to go with each step, shouldn't be more than 7 and 3 quarters, uh, and the tread should not be smaller than 10. So check the code in your area, but those are rough, uh, roughly where you should be. So I always try to remember 7-Eleven, just like, just like the party store, try to go 7-Eleven. So um, I start with seven and you try to get an even number. So um, you're never gonna end up where it right at seven. You'll just keep shooting until it divides into it evenly. So you go seven, then you might try seven and a half, seven and a quarter, seven and eight, seven and sixteen or seven and three sixteenths. Just keep picking numbers until you get one that's very, very close to an even number. So for example, for our particular house, we came up with 15 treads at seven and five sixteenths. We'll get us really darn close to exactly where we wanna be. So, how to lay them out. If you come up here and look at this board, this is gonna be a stringer, and I've kinda of laid it out already. We have um, a landing, um, and then we'll have a series of stringers going off that landing. So, what you'll do, you'll take your tread right here. I went with 11 and a quarter inches. And then our riser was seven and three sixteenths. And each one of these little triangles matches those measurements. So what I did was clamp or screwed a couple of boards right on those measurements. So that way I could just ride it along this edge. Reverse, I'm sorry. That way I could ride it right along this edge, those measurements, and make this pattern, okay? So we have a landing and a step at the bottom, um, and there's a riser at the top. So I only needed 12 risers on here. So you can't forget, once you lay out your 12 risers at the bottom, your very bottom riser down here, you need to cut off the bottom, whatever the thickness of your tread is. I'm gonna use uh, a, a two by 12 tread. So I subtracted an inch and a half from the bottom. You need to cut off. If you've ever been at someone's house, and you're walking up the stairs and the bottom stairs, the bottom step is way too tall, they forgot to subtract the tread thickness from this bottom one. So that's pretty much how you lay these out. We'll cut it out uh, and then we'll go ahead and throw it up in another video. Thanks.